I'm Travis Harmon Smith with Seven Moves Sports. We're here at the one and only historical Parsifal Fieldhouse for another fulfilling day of college basketball this afternoon as the Northwestern Oklahoma State men's and women's basketball teams will face another doubleheader this afternoon against Great American Conference opponent, Washington Baptist. Washita Baptist comes in today's matchup with a 3-2 leading series over the men's and the women's basketball teams. Ranger women's basketball will look to improve after a large margin defeat against the Lady Bison of Harding University, who is ranked 20th in the nation according to the NCAA Division II polls. For the men's, they will look to improve on their winning resume after a one-point win over the Harding University Bison. Reporting from Historical Percival Fieldhouse, I'm Travis Harmon Smith, 7 News Sports. Ranger men's and women's basketball host a great American Conference opponent, Washita Baptist University, at Historical Percival Fieldhouse last Saturday afternoon. It was a week full of Spirit Week festivities, and both squads still had unfinished business against the Tigers. Early on during the first half of the women's contest, the Lady Rangers experienced an early scoring drought, trailing the Lady Tigers in the first six and a half minutes of play, at the 12.06 mark. After the drought, the Lady Rangers would bounce back in rhythm to take their first lead of the game. However, the Lady Tigers will respond in the later minutes before halftime that would tie it up 23-23 at intermission. In the second half, both teams exchanged efficient offensive production all the way until the last few minutes. A key rebound and a quick two-point bucket by guard Jonay Isaac would take the game into overtime. In overtime, the Lady Rangers were down four to start but rallied back to defeat the Lady Tigers in a tight one 63-59. In the men's contest, the Rangers and the Tigers exhibited a fast-tempo battle for most of the first half. However, the Tigers pulled away with a 12-point lead with 5-13 left in the half. The Rangers would then climb back going on a 9-4 run, which would trim the Tiger lead to 7 going into halftime. The Tigers would come out in the second half firing, which gave OBU a 13-point advantage. The Rangers would cut the point advantage down to 4 with an 11-3 run. The 11-3 run wasn't enough for the Rangers as OBU's Micah Delp hit two clutch free throws in the last minutes of the game as the Rangers fell to the Tigers in a one-point heartbreaker, 70-69. Both teams are on the road this weekend in Arkansas as they face Great American Conference opponents, Arkansas Tech and Harrison State. Ranger fans, don't forget to tune in always with seven new sports for college hoops. Reporting from historical Percival Fieldhouse, I'm Travis Harmon Smith, 7 News Sports.